that's something that is missing in today's woke discourse, and I think we're deeply in need of it. Yes, we encounter quite a lot of trauma and fights about whose trauma is worse. And I see no other way around that than living through them and this, having discussions and speaking out in order to get to a place where we can recognize each other's traumas without having to put our own one. First place. I think that's quite right. But I'm disturbed about why the recognition has to be about the recognition of trauma. I quote, one of my real um, intellectual heroes is the Austrian Jewish writer philosopher Jean Marie, who survived two years at Auschwitz. He actually thought there should not even be a monument to the victims because he said being a victim is not an honor. He wrote incredibly poignantly about the ways in which surviving Auschwitz did not make you better, okay? Um, I think I wouldn't go as far as he did to say there shouldn't be any monuments at all, but I've been thinking the last couple of days about um, the difference between left-wing movements at, of the last century and the place we are now. People in the civil rights movement said the, you know, the songs were the glue that held the movement together. The sort of first 30, 40 years of the socialist movements of the 20th century, they weren't about trauma. So I, I actually went up and looked up the entire higher verses of solidarity forever, okay? It's we who plowed the prairies, built the cities where they trade. Um, without our brain and muscle, not a single wheel can turn. It's not poor us, we're being exploited. It's talking about our power. You get this in the civil rights movement, mm -hmm. you know, like a tree <clears throat> standing in the water, we shall not be moved. It's not songs about trauma, and it's not an attitude about trauma. It's, um, it's an attitude about overcoming it. And that's something that m is missing in today's woke discourse, and I think we're deeply in need of it. But I also deeply question the notion itself of a woke movement. I am being invited as a way to entice me to contribute to a volume of essays, to contribute to that volume by telling me you are one of the international leaders of the woke movement. I have no idea what they mean by it. I feel that it is a straw man that is being blown up in order for dominant thought to um, to keep its power. It is built up like it is all over the place, this woke thing. I do not recognize it.